Do you ever feel like you have to work hard, sacrifice your happiness, and struggle through the daily grind to be productive and successful? Do you ever wonder if there's a better way to get things done without burning out or losing your passion? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. In this video, I will share with you the main ideas from a book that has revolutionized my approach to productivity and life. It's called Feel Good Productivity, How to Do More of What Matters to You by Ali Abdal, a former doctor, entrepreneur, and YouTube star. In this book, Ali reveals how the science of feel-good productivity can transform your life. He introduces the three hidden energizers that underpin enjoyable productivity, the three blockers we must overcome to beat procrastination, and the three sustainers that prevent burnout and help us achieve lasting fulfillment. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to work in ways that energize you instead of drain you, how to stop procrastination at its source instead of trying to force your way through it and how to avoid or recover from burnout. You'll also discover how to craft your own joy-based sustainable philosophy for work and life, using up to 54 science-backed experiments Ali provides in the book. So if you're ready to learn how to be more productive and happier simultaneously, keep watching. Part one, the three energizers. The first pillar of feel-good productivity is to work in ways that energize you instead of draining you. Abdal introduces three hidden energizers that underpin enjoyable productivity. Purpose, passion, and play. Purpose is the feeling that your work matters to you and others. It gives you a sense of direction, motivation, and fulfillment. To find your purpose, Abdal suggests asking yourself three questions. What do you love? What are you good at? What does the world need? The intersection of these three answers is your personal mission statement. You can also use tools like the Akigai framework or the hedgehog concept to help you define your purpose. Passion is the feeling of excitement and enthusiasm for your work. It makes you curious, creative, and resilient. To find your passion, Abdal suggests experimenting with different activities, topics, and skills that interest you. You can also use tools like the Passion Planner or the Passion Test to help you discover and pursue your passions. Play is the feeling of fun and joy in your work. It makes you relaxed, happy, and productive. To find your play, Abdal suggests incorporating elements of games, humor, and novelty into your work. You can also use tools like the Play Personality Quiz or the Play Manifesto to help you identify and embrace your play style. Abdal provides 18 experiments that you can try to boost your energy levels using purpose, passion, and play. For example, you can create a vision board, start a passion project, or gamify your tasks. The key is to find what works for you and make it a habit. By working with purpose, passion, and play, you'll feel more energized and enjoy your work more. Part 2. The Three Blockers The second pillar of feel-good productivity is to stop procrastination at its source instead of trying to force your way through it. Abdal introduces three hidden blockers that underpin procrastination. Fear, uncertainty, and inertia. Fear is the feeling of anxiety or dread that prevents you from starting or finishing a task. It can be caused by various factors, such as perfectionism, imposter syndrome, fear of failure, rejection, or criticism. To overcome fear, Abdal suggests using techniques such as reframing, exposure, or self-compassion. You can also use tools like the fear-setting exercise or the rejection therapy game to help you face your fears. Uncertainty is the feeling of confusion or doubt that prevents you from making progress or decisions. It can be caused by various factors, such as lack of information, clarity, or feedback. To overcome uncertainty, Abdal suggests using techniques such as breaking down, planning, or iterating. You can also use tools like the SMART Goals Framework or the Feedback Loop Model to help you reduce uncertainty. Inertia is the feeling of resistance or laziness that prevents you from taking action or changing your behavior. It can be caused by various factors, such as low energy, motivation, or willpower. To overcome inertia, Abdal suggests using techniques such as priming, cueing, or rewarding. You can also use tools like the Pomodoro Technique or the Habit Tracker app to help you overcome inertia. Abdal provides 18 experiments that you can try to beat procrastination using fear, uncertainty, and inertia. For example, you can write a worst-case scenario, create a project outline, or set a timer for 25 minutes. The key is to find what works for you and make it a habit. 
By overcoming fear, uncertainty, and inertia, you'll stop procrastinating and start doing. Part 3. The Three Sustainers The third pillar of feel-good productivity is to avoid or recover from burnout. Abdal introduces three hidden sustainers that underpin sustainable productivity. Rest, recovery, and reflection. Rest is the state of being physically and mentally relaxed and refreshed. It helps you restore your energy, focus, and creativity. To get enough rest, Abdal suggests following a regular sleep schedule, taking breaks throughout the day, and practicing mindfulness or meditation. You can also use tools like the Sleep Cycle app or the Headspace app to help you improve your sleep quality and mental calmness. Recovery is the process of healing from stress, trauma, or injury. It helps you cope with challenges, setbacks, and failures. To recover effectively, Abdal suggests seeking social support, expressing your emotions, and engaging in self-care activities. You can also use tools like the Mood Meter app or the 5-Minute Journal to help you monitor and improve your emotional well-being. Reflection is the act of thinking deeply about your experiences, actions, and goals. It helps you learn from your mistakes, celebrate your achievements, and plan for your future. To reflect regularly, Abdal suggests keeping a journal, conducting a weekly review, and setting smarter goals. You can also use tools like the Notion app or the Year Compass workbook to help you organize and document your thoughts and plans. Abdal provides 18 experiments that you can try to sustain your productivity using rest, recovery, and reflection. For example, you can track your sleep patterns, write a gratitude letter, or create a vision board. The key is to find what works for you and make it a habit. By resting, recovering, and reflecting, you'll avoid or recover from burnout and achieve lasting fulfillment. That's the end of the book summary video script on Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdal. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something useful. If you want to read the full book, you can find it in the description below. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new uploads. Thank you for watching and have a great day.